one of the things that's going to be really important for you guys to do is understand that for Tuesday of this week, Tuesday of next week is your pre-review, which will count for half of your grade for this project. Okay? So this project, 50% of your grade will come from your pre-review next week. And it is, a, it is crucial. You saw the process that we went through with June, okay, of looking at passive heating and passive cooling and analyzing when each of those is appropriate and the justification for those. And so in order to do that, you're going to have to do an extensive set of diagrams of your building. Now, pretty much the, the requirements for Tuesday are going to be to have your site model complete with your model of your building on it, okay? So if you, um, so just a, I'm going to hold this one up like this. So your site model is going to have to have the contours revised. It's going to have to show your catch basin, your swale. It's going to show your driveway. Okay, and I wanted to show you just something about the correct and incorrect ways to demonstrate a driveway on these models. The incorrect way. Okay, the incorrect way is to show something that sits on the surface, okay, um, that's a straight, solid surface. That is the wrong way to show your driveway. Okay? The correct way to show the driveway, not the design, but the method of demonstration, is like this. The driveway is cut into each contour, okay, and it shows as a surface leading up. I'm not saying that the design is correct. The design is definitely not correct. There's no way in hell that someone's going to get in that garage. Okay, there's no backup space or anything, but the tech, the technique, right, of showing it on each of the contour levels as flat rather than a surface <coughs> is what has to happen. Please do not try to cut out a driveway as a single strip and lay it over the contours. Do not do that. Okay? We will be looking at the three-dimensional design on Tuesday as having all of the things that are required by the program and incorporating all of the things that we talked about in Jun's critique today. All right, so in Jun's critique, you had to know exactly what months of the year you would need to use passive heating. You had to know which months of the year you had to use passive cooling. So that's something all of you have to do. Then you have to find the overlapping conflict. Did, did we discuss conflicts? June, you know your conflicts, right? And it's not just yours. It's pretty much everybody's. You're all going to be using some sort of a passive heating system, you have to detail that heating system. I need to know how much south-facing window per room area you have and how much surface area at solar noon is heated for each of the months that you are heating. And, and that's in square feet. So how many square feet of window do you have? And how many square foot of thermal mass is being illuminated by that? If you guys are going to incorporate shading systems, louvers, fins, retractable shading, they need to be shown on there. We will need a detailed site plan to go with your design model. Okay, um, The detailed site plan needs to incorporate the cistern, the catch basin, and any thought that's going to be given to whether or not you are using a living machine. <coughs> All right, any questions about that stuff? Yes, Jim.
you said that a row, how are we going to show which is You're going to be drawing sections through your building. So I'm not done. Right now I'm just dealing with site. Okay. Yeah, can you say like for the physical site plan, you need to have like you show the system. No, I did not say that. I said on, I'm sorry, on the physical site, you said physical, right? Yeah, physical site. Physical site, you're not going to show the cistern, but on your site plan, you will show a cistern. How do you show things that are below grade? Dash line. Dash line. That's good. Okay. How do you start differentiate the dash line for the below and the dash line for the over? Use a different dash. So the question is, how do I differentiate the, the dash from below versus the dash from above? Use a different dash. That's what I would do. That's a question for your design, uh, not design, your, your digital one, digital two teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he covered it, but. Okay, so, so that deals with the site. Now remember, for the site, you guys have to locate an orchard, right? And you have to locate these growing beds. So diagrams that are going to be required are going to be your design model, so your finalized design, right? You will have the 12 months of the year with the shadow, showing the shadow on your site in relationship to your building and the other site elements that are there. Those will be small. They'll be something along the lines of six by eight diagrams. Or, or seven by five or five by seven diagram, something like that. Okay, but you'll have 12 of them. So we need to know where that shadow is each month. You guys need to have um, 12 sections through the primary thermal mass area of your design. That is not the box that, that we pinned up today. That is your design. Which, in, which incorporates overhangs and shades and all that sort of stuff, right? You need to have 12 of those cut east to west, or cut, you're going to cut them north to south so that you can show your solar aperture, your window, your thermal mass, and how much solar penetration is coming into it. Those will show the lines of the sun Parallel lines, show them from your overhangs or anything that will block it all the way down to the ground and then shade that area in yellow. Okay. You are to have all of your book 100% completely updated. Okay. So every single thing that's required to be in your book has to be in there come Tuesday. All right. Questions? You're talking about that section. You're talking about the kid, right? Excuse me? Don't fill up the section. Just draw the kid. Those are drawings. Um, so hold on. Maybe there's a confusion. So I said I said that we were going to have 12 diagrams of the overall site. So is that a drawing or is that a model? That's a drawing. Then I said you're going to have 12 section drawings or section diagrams shaded in yellow. Is that a drawing or a model? Okay. So then what's the question about the model? What'd she say? She said, no, no, no. Oh, so, okay, I just was checking. Like, just the design of the building. Like, what the three? You do need the basic driveway and the building. And the swing. And the swing. Do we have to do a physical model for the building? Yes. So, the question is, do I have to do a physical model for the building? Yes. You're coming in with one of these. So, how much detail do you have? It needs to be, well, you only have one week after this, so it better have plenty of detail. Also, it's a final. No, I wouldn't say it's a final because the chances are you've never gotten a critique on any of this stuff. So after that, we're going to make a new council. If you 
Jamie. No, your topo, your topo, if say this piece didn't work out, you're gonna pull that piece out and make a new one and slip it in and fix it. That's all that's why it's not glued. So you don't have to throw the topo away. Okay? So Tran, that does this answer your question? James, I'm sorry. Go ahead. If we're doing the model for Thanks for talking. purposes, then why would we build the final model if you're gonna make us change it again? Why don't we do a rough final rough model first? I'm leaving that in your court. I'm leaving that in your court. If you show up with a model that's a box, right, with no windows or no nothing, I'm not gonna be able to create it. But having all the details on it, like little details that we do that take a lot of time. We're going to have to change the window anyway, then we wasted that time. That's what I'm asking. It's, it's your call. I'm leaving that in your court. Okay. So just do. I'm sorry, Lynn, Miss Lynn is raising her hand. Um, by any chance, do we have time to, to <laughs> have a quick today? Like, before we I believe the there is about 20 minutes left of class. So I'd be glad to, to spend the 20 minutes with you guys looking at. Your projects. So, uh, 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 June was before you, young lady. Sorry, Cara. Okay, Jim. So you just like uh, show them as much detail, that show as much that the design method that you want to approach on. Hero, why don't you answer that question? Because I don't understand it. <laughs> it's like um, the the level of detail is like enough to show all of your methods. And we need to evaluate. What are you talking about? Are you talking about the model or are you talking about the, the drawings? The physical model. Physical models, you need to have enough that we can talk about it, right? If you just come in with a box showing no windows, I can't we can't we can't evaluate that, we can't crit you on that. We don't know if you're doing it right or if you're doing it wrong. That means that if you have enough detail in the model, we could talk about it. It's whatever you bring in. You got to bring yourself into the game. Put some skin in the game, really. Just show enough so that we understand that you applied the all the methods that you said you're going to apply with that one, two, three, four, five, the list, five list, right? Okay. So I, I just use this these two as an example. So this one's got handrails that look like if they belong on a farm, and uh, they've, they've got little um, little arbors with plant material on them, and he's got all of his like like horizontal louver system there. All of his windows are detailed with sticks. He's got stairs. He's got a ramp. He put glue stuff in, right? That's pretty detailed. Um, this one, on the other hand, right? How many minutes am I at? Thirteen. Thirteen. So this one, don't let me go past fourteen and a half. So this one, on the other hand, is pretty much kind of just a block model with some windows cut in it. They did put some little louvers and stuff in it, but the windows are there, overhangs are there, right? But it's not really a very detailed model. Shows where the pool is, but the pool is really not that depth. Um, you know, it shows a retaining wall. The, the only, you did the, the driveway correctly. Contours are all in. Contours probably aren't going to change too much, I would guess. So I would say that this is probably a you know reasonable sketch model. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and stop the video.